Jake was like, yeah, okay, I'm making like the movie I've been thinking about for years. And it was kind of a perfect thing because like Maddie is a little bit like, yeah, we're being hunted, but it's like fun. (laughs) And he was like, it is not. (laughs) So... I kind of view it as a wild ride, uh, a kind of a true indie. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's fast paced. I think it's got a lot of different genre. I think it's kind of genre bending. And I think there's a big story engine to it. So I know that's not a clean pitch, but I know I think I can do that here. Well, it was honestly, I've got a bunch of things I've tried to write in my like embarrassing little Jake's writing folder on my computer uh, that 90% of those projects have all died. But it's more than just this, it's that tone. I've realized they're all kind of the same thing and I wanted to make something that kind of felt like this, that you can have really big laughs and you can have like a really feel good story and you could have, you know, a love story. And, And to me, the parts of this feel like a romantic comedy. But I also really like when like, I'm being attacked by a giant and that should feel very scary. And so more than just this specific story, I just wanted to try to do this specific tone and see if other people liked it as much as I liked it. We're all being hunted, man. Don't you see the metaphor, brother? No, the the story was not it's the story is not personal, the tone's personal. So, and I know that's kind of a goofy thing to say, but the specifics of Tommy's journey I can't relate to the feelings of it and the emotions of it felt to me like the pandemic. So I really decided to write it there when truth is subjective. uh, You don't know what's real. Everybody has a different theory. Everybody's kind of laughing at everybody else. More than anything, I missed people. I found myself missing literal like busboys in my favorite restaurants who we don't even talk to. We just go like, what's up? (laughs) I was like, all that stuff I was just kind of missing. And I wanted something to come into my life and be extraordinary and exciting and pushed me out of the same boring day. So that's where I connected to the story, but it was more, I just, in terms of me to it, this kind of tone and this feeling of a movie and like the score, I've been dreaming about this score for years. The score is so great. So good, Dan Romer kills it. But the way the score kind of feels with like that drum and then like the string, like if I'm watching a movie, I want that full immersion feeling and I want to go places in the second act that I didn't expect. And I want to look at the person next to me and go like, what the is happening now? (laughs) So that's what felt really personal to me. The character is a funny chord to strike and the the tone of the movie is already kind of a tightrope walk. and, um, And it's like everything in the movie is sort of like, a double meaning and you're you're not sure like who believes Jake who doesn't um you know who's playing who's not playing and it's this like kind of sense of like am I about to be double crossed that's like obviously it's in the context of like a very funny exciting premise but you know that feeling of like are you in or are you out and like can I trust you is um I think you know, a really exciting place to play with your scene partner. <laughs> so, you know, that was just like a blast because it was like everything we were saying to each other was like, wait, what do you know at this point? And how much do I trust you? And um, that was just like such an exciting area to be. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? Like, uh, I remember... Um, uh, cause you know, Jake and I are friends. And so he just sent me the script and then, you know, uh, my agents are like, Oh yeah, what's the movie? And they read it and they're like, you know, it's really Jake's movie. And I was like, good <laughs> as it should be, you know, like I was like, great for me. Great day for old Anna <laughs> just showing up and being like, so I'm here to have fun. Yeah. And it was kind of like emblematic of what was happening was like, I just showed up to be like, I'm here to support Jake and I'm here to have a great time. Yeah. And Jake was like, yeah, okay. I'm making like the movie I've been thinking about for years. <laughs> and it was kind of a perfect thing because yeah, like, yeah. Maddie is a little bit like, yeah, we're being hunted, but it's like fun. And he was like, it is not. <laughs> so we were kind of in the perfect headspace. That's right. To the degree that we've like, you know, been in touch, it's always like, I would love to work with you again. But I think separately, even though we weren't talking about it, um, but we did talk about it when we were about to do the movie that like when I would get a script that was like, 
all right, I'm, I think I'm in. I think I'm into it. But you know what? Like, if the guy was Jake, like, then that would make it a lot more interesting. You know, like, if I could get Jake in one of these roles, then, like, suddenly the movie feels a lot more, like, on solid ground, I guess. Because I think, you know, I really trust Jake, and I think we have a very similar working style. So then, you know, when it turns out he's, like, got a screenplay of his own, it's like, well, that's way better. Let's do that. <laughs> I felt the same with Anna. I also feel like, you know, Anna just directed a feature too, but I've known her as essentially a director before that too. So I've always, when you sign on to in do- In the sense that I micromanage, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the sense that you're talented and you get it. So you, you kind of know, like, I would do anything with Anna because I know if I get to do the Anna role that she did in this one, I get to just hang back and go like, take over, lady. <laughs> you're in the driver's do it. seat. Like, you're in the driver's seat. And so for this, it was really nice because I was like, it's such a big part. And if Maddie doesn't work, there's a few pivotal roles to me in this movie. Maddie was pivotal. James is pivotal. If those characters don't work, the movie doesn't work. And so James, for me, I was like, we got to get lucky and get the guy. And Biff Whiff was perfect. Yeah, lucky it was perfect. doesn't even begin. He's amazing. He's amazing. And then for Anna, I was like, man, somebody's got to nail this idea that she's playing. She's having fun. But her arc has to be believable. And it's a really tricky part because, and I don't want to spoil anything, but in the end when you look back, we shot everything that it could be real or it could not be real, and we had to play it that way. And I don't think there's a lot of people who could really pull it off while being likable, while people wanting that story to work and that romance to work. So when Anna came on is when I felt like, oh, we're actually going to make a movie. Great. That's a good question. Ooh. Punishing for sure. <laughs> I think you got to redeem so that audiences don't turn on you. But man, I would just like to punish the character I'm playing for 90 minutes. Uh, I think the punishment's funny. I also think weaseling out of being punished is funny. I like putting a, a character in a corner like a rat and throwing cheese at him. Uh, but I have found that if you go too far that way, people leave and go like, what did we pay for? Yeah. So uh, definitely punish, but hopefully with some redemption. Yeah, that's, I mean, because I do have, I think, a little sensitivity to certain um, characters, like, going through too much, I guess. Um, like, uh, I get a little uh, more squirmy than I think a, a lot of people do. Like, I've got a lower tolerance for, like, like even, like, Herb. Right. Sometimes I'm like, Hi, I don't know if I can take the heat, guys. I got to get out <laughs> of the kitchen. Um, but then, weirdly, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just in the edit on my movie now and like every time my character is like really going through something I'm like this is great <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I definitely wanted to ground it in a in a real place and I didn't want it to get like part of it I didn't want it to get too violent I didn't want it to go too far in one direction because it is also a love story so this is kind of my it is a story about a guy who got dumped and needed to get back on the horse and try again so if we went to genre or too specific someplace else, then that story wouldn't matter. And I think that story really matters to it. I think there, that's the, the love story is the heart of it. And if Maddie at the end, uh, well, if it's not a happy ending, it's still okay for Tommy because now he's officially, you know, back ready to try things. And so I think if, I, if we push too far in a different genre, we got too, too surreal, like we get close. But if you enter a world where now you're on another planet, I don't think we get to come back. And if the violence got too gory or too intense, I don't think you can finish that way. And I knew I wanted to finish that way.